welcome to this new tutorial on EMGU CV and in this tutorial I will show you how can we apply Flan algorithm for feature descriptor matching in EMGU CV so let us get started I already created a project and configured it to use EMGU CV 4.2 you can watch one of my previous videos to see how I configured it to use EMGU CV. In my last tutorial, I shown uh, it how can we use the feature matching using the brute force matcher uh, for uh, finding the best matches between feature matches between two images. And as I described in my previous video that in OpenCV there are two methods available for matching. One of them is the brute force matcher and another is flan uh, matcher in OpenCV. Last time in my video I shown you how can we use the brute force matcher. Although this is a very good matcher but it is very much slow because if we have 1000 uh, feature descriptors in one image and 1000 in another then it matches both of them one by one together so it is quite slow as an alternative and a faster approach is the flame based matcher basically it stands for a fast library for approximate nearest neighbors so it is still using the nearest neighbors but it is faster than the brute force matcher so it is more suitable for very large data sets and uh, it we we need to set two important parameters for the brute force matcher the index parameter which will tell us which algorithm are we going to use for uh, creating the tree for example and another parameter is the search parameter what kind of searching that we we want to perform uh, within that tree so we will see them uh, in the code and another thing that I want to show you is when we go to open CV and online documentation and this is the latest version of open CV and when we go to 2d feature framework you will see the different types of uh, detectors and here you can see the matchers and for key detection as I mentioned last time that there are various algorithms are available and these are all working in a similar fashion so you can use any of them uh, according to your uh, needs and similarly for the matcher function as I as I mentioned that there are two matcher functions um, classes are available brute force and flame based matchers and uh, I have already shown you how to use the brute force and uh, today we are going to explore the flame based matcher so let us see the code and the first thing that I want to do is let me rename this one process to feature 2d so mostly we are working on the feature 2d and uh, I should rename this one to be feature matching for example I should say brute force matcher last time I, I just used this uh, algorithm so I'm just going to take this part and paste under brute force matcher so that we can call it from here and today I'm going to show you flame matcher okay so I'm showing going to show you I should write brute force here okay so today we are going to show you the brute force matcher so whatever I will do right here will be basically the brute force matcher so what I uh, I will do is most of the things that I'm going to use will be the same in which I'm just and I have already explained these step by step so if I need two images one will be called the scene image one is the template image which should be in my current and picture box and then I will process it now I will change this process image for brute force to now the flame based matcher so I just go to the definition of this process image so maybe I should take this all and maybe I should copy it just below here and I should rename it like process uh, image flame for example 
okay so it is still getting the same template image that we want to search within the scene image in the background image and for this one we need to the main idea is what the featured extraction description and matching is doing is first we need to extract the key points that is the main maybe the corners are the important features and around those corners we find the feature descriptors and for feature descriptor i use the brisk here so there are various methods available for feature descriptors you can find or use any of this feature descriptor classes available so i use the detect and compute method so that i also detected the key points and then features around those key points now instead of using the brute force measure here i am going to change into my uh, f flan flan based uh, measure so this is the only place where i am going to make a little change here when we go to the documentation of EMGUCV and uh, if I look at the API documentation 4.2 and uh, here in the uh, EMGUCV.flane, you can see there are a variety of classes uh, which are uh, available here inside. And for indexing, basically, I, as I mentioned, we need two parameters, the index. So for indexing, which means how which uh, tree do we need to create or what what how we will uh, store the key points and the matches for example the kdt uh, tree index parameters which uh, we can also use k-means clustering or linear indexing parameters or uh, lsh index params these are different uh, parameters are the that we can create the object of these parameters and also we need the search parameters how they will be searched so um, I, uh, overall the or maybe we can use the auto-tuned index parameters uh, we can provide it so it basically combines both the KD trees and hierarchical uh, k-means and linear so it is what wants some sort of optimizing them so maybe I can show you an example of how can we use these KDT trees. So we just need to create the object of one of the indexed uh, object and then we need to provide the search parameters and provide it to the this uh, flan object. So the first thing that I need to change is I want an object of the KD tree. If it is not available we might be looking inside the uh, it is does not show it means that maybe I can you need to use the plane here so I'm just going to say using uh, emgu dot cv dot flame so in this namespace all the required uh, methods are available so let me double click on that to find where I pasted it okay so the first thing that I need is to create uh, an index parameter so let me say a kd3 i'm going to parameter so this is just we can say index parameter is equal to new index parameter so here uh, the, we can set as many number of uh, uh, kdt parallel trees i mean this parameter says that the number of parallel kd trees to use so how much you want and the best value should be between 1 and 16 so i'm just keeping it as a default so for indexing i'm using the kd trees and another parameter is the search parameter so i'm writing search params so i can say search parameter sp is equal to new search parameter and inside it you can see that there are some default values and this if we have a number of if we have a tree kd tree available then how many uh, leaves should it search so uh, you can play with the parameters i'm just keeping all them as default now once i have the index parameter and the search parameter now i can create the object of my uh, flan based measure so flan based measure so that is the name of the measure i can call it like measure is equal to new flame based measure and inside it as you can see it is the only constructor uh, it has and which takes the parameter 
index parameter and a search parameter so this is the object of my index parameter and the search parameter objects and then so my uh, flame based measure is ready and the rest of the things i don't need to change it as i mentioned that the this is going to match the template descriptors which i have created and the scene descriptors using the k uh, nearest neighbors match and we already provided a k is equal to two i guess yes k is equal to two once we have the matches we just created a mask for that and we are going to select the unique masks based on the unique threshold value that we have said so we are dropping the non-unique uh, thresholds and we are just uh, by setting the parameters we are just selecting and accounting the uh, between template key points and seeing key points and we provided the the amount of orientation and, and the angle size that size and the orientation that we are allowing so then we are counting how much of them are here if if there are four at least then at least we can uh, find a homography homography uh, out of it and we can draw it as a rectangular shape or something like that and then we use the get homography matrix to find out the homography of those uh, key points using the match and we also said that this homography basically gives us the relationship between these two and then we are just doing the some mathematics here to draw a rectangle of the same size as my template and then i did the perspective transform so wherever i find the points in my uh, match i for the template and the match we are now transforming them and uh, displaying them on simply on our scene image one more thing just before running it i just as i mentioned that we can also use other feature descriptors so let me try with the cas uh, feature uh, which worked well for in my case so i'm just changing it to the case and one more thing that i just want to do is I want to start this form in maximized mode so uh, instead of saying window state it should be maximized okay so let me run this and see the results file so this was the situation of maximizing it so I open an image so let me select an image and they select the ROI let's say I'm interested in this ROI and get that region of interest and let's do some resizing it and also to make sure that okay and now let's do some feature based matching and let's apply the flame so you can see that it is also doing uh, this uh, working in the same fashion as the uh, brute force measure but it is assumed to be a little faster although we did not realize so much but for as I mentioned, if the number of features to be matched are too much, then uh, I would personally prefer to use a uh, flame based measure. For example, if we want to search for uh, some corners of this building, for example, is, an, is another example. So let me get that region of interest and uh, maybe I can rotate it, for example. And then now if I apply the feature matching so you can see exactly it is able to reproduce it so that is how we can apply the flame based matcher and or maybe i will also show you something that instead of for example i have used here a kd tree so maybe we can also use some uh, other uh, trees also or some other index parameters for example there was Another one that was the, I can just say IP is equal to new auto. What was its name? I don't exactly remember. Auto tuned index param. Yes. So for example, if I use, you can see target precision build rate. And, and if I use with the default, so as I mentioned that, we may play around with these uh, parameters it's according to your requirement and if you want you can use this one 
and uh, as an object and uh, now if I try it for example let's see if it is working for us or not so let us try the get this logo of Beko and let us try the get region and maybe we will do some transformation now let's try flame so you can see that uh, still it's not a problem so the features or the settings can be changed or another option we have is was i think that was the linear index or the what was that ip is equal to new linear index param for example and this doesn't require any parameter and you can try with any of these k-means index param or whatever you want but i hope that both uh, all of these will produce almost similar results so you can play around the parameters so let me select this image and uh, this is the ROI for example I'm interested in uh, I really forgot I just selected all of this as ROI so let me select the region of interest and then I just need to get region of interest and then now I can apply the flame measure so you can see it is uh, finding it with most certainty so it's up to you that whichever you want to use in your for example a project so that's it from me and hope to see you in another video